Are you being a bad girl? Mambo. You're being a bad girl. Is that a bad girl right there? Hi. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Come here. What do you think you're doing? You know, you were supposed to come fly and you didn't, you didn't come fly. You were supposed to do that. You were supposed to fly all the way over here like you did the other day, but then you didn't. So what's up with ruining the vlog, huh? What's up with that? Hmm? 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 You want to tell everybody good morning for the final day of the January vlog? No. Hello all, I'm still very sick. You going up? Okay. Um, yeah, so we're staying home again today. I'm gonna call once my doctor's office opens. I'm gonna try and see if they can get me in today because uh, they could not yesterday. And you know, I'm just a little concerned, a smidge concerned about it, but yeah. That's what we're doing today, and hopefully we'll finish two books today uh, so that January has a nice, clear ending, but no guarantees on that one. But we will start listening to the Black Coats. We'll start finishing it uh, while we work on some work work and uh, see how fast I can actually read my commission book. Yeah, cool. God, this throat is bad. It's not as bad as I've had it in the past, but I've definitely got sexy voice right now, so. Fair warning. I sound very sexy. Um, would you, do you have anything to say? Okay. I also have my mom coming to bring me stuff for the sickness, so. But that won't be till later. But my mommy's coming to rescue me. What are you doing? What's going on here? Okay, anyway, good morning. Let's hope our final vlog of January is a good one. <laughs> Made it to a doctor waiting on strap test results. Yeah, you can't see me smiling, obviously, but uh. Yeah, also there's creepy artwork in here. Look at this. I feel unsettled by this. I don't know why. It just looks kind of creepy. I mean, so is a whole skeleton, but actually that cross stitch is more creepy than anything in the world, I think, right now. It's too pleasant. Pretty sure that's probably, like, cursed or something. Like, if you touch it, you end up stuck in this Pleasantville sort of situation. Also, there's a horse calendar. So I don't actually know how safe I am here, let's be real. <laughs> I don't know. My sick adult brain can't function properly. Hello, we're home. I'm being snuggled. It's confirmed, I have strep. Great stuff. Are you good? She's weird right now and just like snuggling as close as possible into my hair, as you can see, she's a little tangled there. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have strep, waiting on the pharmacy to give me my meds. What a way to end this vlog. We started so high, and now we're here. So I'm going to continue working now and cuddle a bird. Big baby. Yeah. Hi. Which baby? Hello all, um, just about finished with my work day here. I've done a lot of stuff and yet there's so much more to do. But as I work, I listen to audiobooks and I just finished listening to the last book on the TBR, the official TBR, which is The Black Coats by Colleen Oaks, which apparently I've owned since I, I think almost 2018. I was literally, I, one of my other side projects that I've been working on at night has been uh, figuring out when a lot of them, some, when I look on like book outlet, it only goes back so far. So I was like going through my 
old emails. So yeah, 20, oh no, I guess 2020. I got this at Book Outlet in 2020, the year I bought most things from Book Outlet. A crazy amount. No, maybe 2019 was worse. I don't know, in between them, but definitely the heyday of it. So this is a contemporary book, a uh, feminist mostly about feminism, uh, about women who have been hurt by men um, and those who seek justice slash revenge against them. Um, it deals with a girl who has her cousin and best friend was raped and murdered and she wants justice for that and gets invited to the Black Coats and joins a little team of people to enact what they call balancings um, a ways to stop men from the men who have perpetrated in the past and to stop them. It's not necessarily death. Um, they're spo specifically told it is not about death. It is uh, usually scaring them so much that they never do stuff. They even have a girl on their team who is a hypnotist who will hypnotize them into not doing anything ever again. Um, but it, it talks about the lines between revenge and justice and what is deserved and can people change? Are the, any of these men redeemable? Are some of them not? And it makes you think about a few of those things. I don't necessarily think this was like the best book ever. Um, there are plenty of books. Thanks for pooping right there. Cool, 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 cool. Um, that touch on this topic. Um, and I think it was still, it was still an interesting read. Um, it took me a, a while to actually like get into it. I, I really wasn't into it for a while, especially because there is a subplot romance um, that gets convoluted and stuff and just the amount of lies that have to be told and stuff like that. So, um, not exactly my favorite kind of thing. I did really enjoy the ending for the most part. I would have liked for our main character the whole time. She doesn't actually know who killed her cousin. She has an inkling of to it, but it's not that person. Um, they're just a convenient scapegoat kind of thing. And you find it at the end. And I don't remember enough of the beginning if this character was even a part of the beginning. I have no memory of that. Uh, so it kind of loses a little bit of oomph because you keep thinking it's going to be this big plot twist as to who killed her. And I'm left with kind of like, uh. <laughs> you know. Um, so there's that kind of downside there. Otherwise, but it is interesting. We have all these girls who have been affected in some way by the choices of bad men. Um, and it's, it's an interesting take in showing even some of them that get redemption and some that really don't deserve it at all and it proved that they don't deserve it at all. Um, so it's kind of the, a little bit on the nuance on that. Um, but yeah, it was enjoyable overall. I'm probably going to give this, 3.5 probably 3.5 it's not like my favorite thing in the world it wasn't terrible and it wasn't incredibly boring or anything um not quite a four star for me though I think I think it could be potentially that for a lot of other people um but yeah could be decent book that I apparently spent five dollars and 99 cents on I think that's worth it <laughs> all right gonna wrap up somebody is going to have their groomer come over and take care of that nail situation I hope it goes well because it's the first time the groomer coming here and I'm gonna have to like I'm gonna wear my mask and go in the other room so that I don't give the groomer strap that would be really bad but she desperately needs her nails done look at that curvature you see that curve you don't want that on a bird you don't want their their little feetsies to have to curve up that's gonna cause a lot of pain and arthritis in them so it's get it done ASAP why okay are you do you want to go back to the cage for a bit go eat something yeah okay we'll do that hello everyone we just had our lovely groomer here and and by <laughs> she's like right her. so we got our nails did and a little bit of our beak done and now you won't be giving me acupuncture all the time yeah and she behaved fairly well she was just very uh loud and talkative and fluffy. Weekaboo. Weekaboo. That's what we do. She's very upset. I'm like, my beak. Weekaboo. 
Pika, 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 pika. Yeah, you feel better? You got a little mani patty. Yeah, you did. A little mani patty. Maybe we'll take a bath later. Or we want to save it for tomorrow morning. You know, we could play with all the toys that I've actually purchased and bought. But you know what's more fun than that? Hair clips. My hair clips are way more entertaining for somebody than uh, anything I've ever gotten her. Yeah. Now that you can see that now, because of course we've turned on the camera and that means we will stop doing what we're doing. Do you want to keep playing with this? What we're we doing? We definitely like playing with them. Yeah. Much more fun. Yeah. Happy? You can keep playing. Yeah. Anyway, hi. My fever is coming back real strong right now super great um decided to watch the first episode of last of us because i'm curious granted i've never played the game i don't know anything about the game other than there's zombies and gruff man with young girl that's all i know i also know there was a guy on one of my dating apps who was talking about this this is one of the first conversation we ever had and ever will have because I blocked him after this. Uh, was uh, he, I was talking? He's talking about Last of Us. I was like, oh, I've never played the game, but the you know the show looks interesting because I love Pedro Pascal and I like Bella Ramsey. And he's like, yeah, I'm not sure about the casting for Ellie because there's something about you know for me that I feel like I'm in love with Ellie. And then I blocked him after that because I'm not here for any pedophilia. We're not here for that. Are you going? It's time for bedtimes for birds, though. It is bedtimes for birds, but it might be bedtimes for me. I don't know, because I feel like crap. And my face is hot. But that's it. What a vlog. <laughs> I, well, I was going to try and read more and stuff. It's 7.30, but this is taking its toll. I think I'm actually going to like go to bed right now. I'm so just not feeling good i feel really really bad i'm gonna take another one of my new meds uh they didn't give me amoxicillin though this time because they're like we've been having bad luck with amoxicillin and i'm like well i haven't <laughs> but they gave me a different thing uh i don't know if it's actually helping or not but it's just not good not good stuff so what a way to end but we did it. We did a, a daily vlog every, well, almost every day, but like, you know, we allowed the vacation thing. Uh, and I did the book buying band. So that is two cauldron prompts have been completed. Two of the eight. And we'll see about what February holds. And we'll get back to regular video stuff. So no more daily vlogging from me. Hope you guys enjoyed what I was able to do. Um, and I'm hoping to get back on schedule with uh, regular videos on Fridays. And uh, I'm not sure what, if I'll do premieres at a different time though, because I did have that question on uh, on the questionnaire, but it was a little spread out. So I'm not sure when when's a good premiere time for, for videos, if you guys like showing up to those. Mm -hmm. See how tired I am? I'm just, I'm done. I'm so done. We out. We out. Um, yeah, so I, I didn't get to finish the other book that I was reading. The commission book today just because I can't. I can't keep my eyes open without watering. Like, they're watering a lot right now. Um, yeah, but that's it. Thanks for joining the daily vlogs. Sorry that I'm sick for the end of this. There's no, like, big bang to the end of the vlogs. But uh, I'll see you back at it. We might be streaming tomorrow with Hala. I'll see how I feel. I might just need a little 
break from everything. <sighs> yeah. Cool. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my coffee page. <laughs> Bye.